In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a graphical user interface um, application that I created for controlling NeoPixels or Pixel Scripts or other RGB LED displays. If you haven't seen my previous video, then I'm going to include a link in the description which shows you in that how you can create your own interface board allowing the Raspberry Pi to control the NeoPixels. But this is taking it a step further and adding a graphical user interface that allows you to try this out. So the graphical user interface is a little bit um, a little bit different to um, other things in that when you choose an option it's not going to take an effect immediately. That's deliberate for a couple of reasons but mainly because this is designed to be used in a as a DJ type theatre um, environment where you want to be able to set up what you're wanting to do before you actually apply it. That way you can choose what colours the display is going to do as well as the sequence and apply it both at the same time. So, show you the interface here and these are the different buttons and you can press these, these are the different sequences. So there's for instance all on, you click that and then press the apply button, then all the LEDs come on, all off, apply and all the LEDs come off. And I'll go through some of those sequences. Here's a demonstration of the NeoPixel stroke pixel strip graphical user interface application that I've created. Um, here I've got a, a demo board with uh, 45 pixels on it and it starts at the moment with all off and they're all off obviously. All on and if you just click all on and put it on then they all light up white. Now you can change that, have them go to a different colour. Remember you have to press apply each time you make a change. And that goes to red. We could add multiple colours. And we can also add black as one of the colours which will turn that particular pixel off. And these colour selection can be applied to many of the different uh, options. So we can turn it all on single colour and this will actually it just do the same but it will ignore all but the first colour. And there's similar things with, with some of these that they, uh, they only use a certain number of the colours that are selected. We put a chaser on uh, Pink actually is uh, looks quite white. Let's just try that a different colour. Remove the pink. There we go. So chaser just moves from side to side, but you can bring on more colours. And have a multicolored chaser. Chase a single colour, just goes to a single colour. This is actually a slightly different sequence in that it's got a bit of a gap between them. And chase with a solid background just has the colours that you've selected chasing across. You can perhaps add a couple more colours there to show what that looks like. Uh, colour wipe will flood the uh, pixel strip with colour starting at one, lash, or one side. In and out will colour from the outside inwards as you can see this just uses the first colour. And out and in does the opposite. Right in back. 
goes through a colour wheel showing different colours. Rainbow cycle, fast, and this one sort of like pulses the colours through. Theatre chase is where it's going to blink and it's going to change colours as it's going. And then I added a second tab, uh, Twinkle Chase and a two colour chase. Just take the first two colours, it's as though their colours are chasing each other. Let's go back to the chase with a single solid back. So, as I say, you can choose various different colours. There's also one thing that we haven't mentioned yet, is the speed. So, again, we have to apply it. And this is going to slow that down. Doesn't seem to be making it on this one. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, so that didn't make much difference slowing that one particular one down. But speeding it up has made quite a bit of difference. There you go, actually you can't see and tell the difference there. And see slow is setting. And that can be applied to some of this. Uh, this one's going to be very slow in changing colours, but if we ramp the speed up it changes much quicker and then finally we'll turn them all off when we're done and that's it so this is um the graphical application and some of the different sequences that can create using it and uh, still under development but it, it's reached a, a usable level at the moment and there are some other features that I'd like to do and of course uh, open for any suggestions for other sequences that can be added and we can add more tabs as required if there's enough demand. Hope you found that useful if you need uh, details of the circuit then there's a link to the other video and to my website which includes details of how you can make that circuit. Now over to you, if you've got any suggestions for different sequences that I can add, for instance I've got the, the chaser and the rainbow sequences, if you've got some other ideas of other sequences that you think might look good then please let me know and I'll have a look at uh, seeing if I can incorporate those into the program and or feel free to have a go creating your own sequence in the code as well. Um, so you can leave comments here on this video and I'll, uh, I'll have a go at making any or if you want to code your own then feel free to um, post that via GitHub or you can contact me through any of the usual uh, social media as uh, Penguin Tutor. So I hope you like this, if you did um, please like and share it and subscribe to my channel so you can find out about for future videos that I make about different Raspberry Pi, Arduino or other maker projects.